Hey guys, it's Chelsea and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool logo or watermark in Squarespace. If you already have a Squarespace portfolio, as I know many of you do, um, it's completely free. That's part of the reasons I wanted to show off this feature. And if you don't, well, it's, it's not very expensive. In fact, it's a really affordable option. I've had, I've paid professionals to make logos for me and I've tried to make them in other programs. It's really time consuming and expensive. If you go to squarespace.com logo, you can just type in your logo name. For me, that would just be Chelsea Northrup. I don't have anything fancy going on. You can change it afterwards too, so. And then it kind of just automatically takes you through a tutorial. You can just search for whatever symbol you want here. You can retype your name that you want in this box and you can add a tagline. So if I was going to make, let's say a business card or something, I could write a uh, photographer, teacher, creature. Those are all, that's all true. All right. And then the cool thing is you can see what it would look like on your screen or on a business card or even on a t-shirt. It's really self-explanatory, but I wanted to take you through a few steps and just give you some ideas for what you should do for your logo or watermark because I see a lot of them. We're always reviewing your portfolios. We have like 8,000 people in our private photography group and I'm just seeing pictures and watermarks constantly. So I had some good ideas, or at least I think they're good ideas that I wanted to share. First of all, I'd say be unique. Now I'm kind of known for my name already, so I don't really have that opportunity. But let's say I wanted to branch off and start promoting my wildlife photography. I might just start with a picture I really like to photograph birds, so I'll look in their, their database of little logos, logos here and see what I like. One thing I've learned from marketing and kind of studying logos is that it helps if there's action in your logo. So um, just for example, this bird is completely still, but this bird is singing, and just that little bit of action can engage your viewers a little bit more. It's also facing to the right, which has been shown to just be more effective. I'll use this little bird here, or try it out, and pick a color, maybe. I like blue. Maybe I'll do bluebird photography. It's as simple as just dragging everything. Once you click on your text box, you can go here and you can change the font if you like. So one thing that I like to do is just go to the top and select it and then use my down arrow. Oops, you have to select it. And then use your down arrow to just go through the different fonts and see which one matches your logo. So this one's a little bit cutesy, like the bird, but mm, cutesy doesn't really fit me. I kind of like this one. It reminds me of a typewriter. It's a little bit retro. Um, and then this is a bit bold for me, so I might just make it gray. And we'll see how it looks. I think that looks pretty good. They have so many different options. If you wanted to just be more traditional and choose a camera, you can see that they have a bunch of them. They have more old fashioned ones, they have little point and shoots, and you can just choose whichever one fits your style. So maybe you'd want to be um, like retro click or something like that. There's so many options and you can really personalize. Now I'll leave the rest to you. You can kind of design what you think looks good but from here, it's really simple. You just have to download it. So let's see. So save your logo and then just download it at high res. If you don't have a Squarespace, it's $10. I think that's pretty affordable. But if you're an existing Squarespace customer, it's free. It gives you the option to download it three different ways. You could do it in color, black, or white. 
And once you have it downloaded, you can use it on your business cards or you can use it as a watermark. I dragged mine into Lightroom and just set it up in the watermark section and I can put it over any of my pictures if I want to. So if you decide that you like it and you download it, you can also set it up to be on your Squarespace portfolio. Okay. So if you already have a Squarespace portfolio, you can put your new logo design on your page. You just sign in and go to design and logo and title. And from there you can just upload it. So you can see that the logo I just made is now on my page. Ah, I'm going to change it. I'm not retro click photography. And you can also see that it's a bit too small. Uh, you can change that by making your logo bigger when you're designing it. You just have to, you have to design it bigger on the page to make it bigger when it's on your final portfolio. So keep that in mind. So now you can probably see why I love Squarespace logo feature so much. It's really easy. They have a lot of options and it's so clean and simple that it makes it foolproof to make a good logo or watermark for yourself. So try it out. Either way, it's free to try and tell me what you think. If you love this feature, you love Squarespace and you decide that you want your own, you can go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code PHOTOLIVE to get 10% off. You're welcome and thank you.